so um, just jumping back, so we've now got something that works reasonably okay. It's obviously limited in some of its operations. So in terms of the next steps, um, what we're going to do is um, create a service account, which will give us some credentials that we can now then use in uh, uh, your Google Apps Script project. And um, you can just hit the API and we can get um, we can send our own messages in and it will pull back the intent. So if I just click, if you click on the uh, cog for your agent, you come to the landing page. And so we can just click on uh, the service account, which it's, and it generally has one already set up. So you can see it's already integrated because it's a Google product, it's straight into uh, uh, the cloud platform. So we're just going to create a service account. I'm going to call that, uh, let's call it. In terms of the role, um, for us to do uh, querying against their API, if I go down to Dialogflow, we need to specify the role of um, API client. Um, so that uh, will enable us to query our agent and get some data back, hopefully. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create a key. And I'm just going to download it. So this is uh, where the, the magic of um, Bruce's Goa um, OAuth 2 library comes in. I've downloaded the key. Uh, I can click done, which I usually forget, and then wonder why things aren't working. So all I'm going to do is just dump this JSON into Google Drive. So this basically has the credentials we need um, to access the API. So actually, I just want the name. So I've started a project here, and it's got some of our code already in it. Um, the uh, uh, in terms of the libraries, they're they're basically um, I haven't installed those, but a quick way for me to actually install these is if I just paste this. So, um, the code in a second. So I'm just going to go to my existing project. This is just an easy way uh, to install the libraries we need. Go and we've got Dialogflow. So Dialogflow is um, a client library uh, I've produced from Spencer Easton. Spencer Easton has a, a generator for Google APIs. So, and as I mentioned, we've got Bruce, Bruce's Goa in here as well. So, um, in terms of Goa's setup, it couldn't be easier. So, um, we've dropped in that the file with credentials and keys we've got into Google Drive. I'm just going to um, point Goa to that. And Go is going to save that in the script properties. And it's basically going to handle all the toco, token generation and renewal that we need. Um, Bruce, is there anything you want to say about Go at this point? It, well, it, it, normally it handles all, all the different kinds of OAuth flows. Um, service accounts, obviously, the easiest one. Um, the important point is that the one off saying you can just delete when you've yeah. once you've run it. So you don't have to have these JSON files hanging around. It's yeah. just a one-off thing, and that's the end of it. And the second thing is that the project ID, and notice you've got that as a as a standard um, uh, constant here. You can actually pick up project ID from Go as well. Right. Because it knows it, because it's in the uh, credentials anyway. So I'm just going to run Go. So because um, uh, Go is 
uh, going to do things like going off to Google Drive and I'm running this on a consumer account, it's going to, it's not verified. So I just need to go through the advanced options um, and just accept that. So it's running the one off function. Um, so in terms of connecting with Dialogflow, the other thing I need to do is we mentioned the project ID in here. So it's just this value here. So I can just copy that in. And as Bruce says, we can just delete that. It's hoping everything's worked OK. Um, so let's actually uh, let's just do a test function function test. And let's just uh, do tank or log. And we'll take message intent and we'll send one of our code in. And just to show you what comes back, I was going to copy that. And for Save. Save. And test. And hit logger. So you can see it's come back with um, some JSON. So uh, it, you, you can see the query text that we've sent in. And uh, you can see the parameters, in fact. So here we go. So this is the response we get from Dialogflow. So you know you can see the text that's gone in, and we get the parameters back. Um, so it makes it a lot easier in terms of you know it's uh, Dialogflow has done all the hard work in terms of extracting you know the the values we want um, you know in in a very usable format, and that's really essentially how the the demo is working. So. All that we've done in the example is just add a bit of view.